So come on in everyone, take a seat. So welcome to Circle, we have a few guidelines to keep us going. So what we're doing today is a community building circle. It is a tier one practice in restorative justice. We do tier one circles to build community, to connect with each other, to practice speaking and listening in a different way. Say their name, say their name. Okay, what, what does the word say? Go ahead, What's, what does that mean to you? What I saw was missing is 100% of your community feeling part of the community. And many high schools, including this one, I've, I think there was a group of people who, who feel like they were the community and, and then everyone else was kind of left out. My name's Jordan. Um, on a scope of one to 10, how many times do how are you feeling from zero to 10? Restorative justice, we just come to a place where we hear every person's side of the story. Before I knew about RJ, I was a tough girl, like always fighting, getting into conflict. Like I was the one always fighting, going to the office, getting reflections, getting suspended. And then now like I see where other people come from and I'd be like, okay, well, don't do this. You know, we can do this another way. In Oakland Unified, we use a three-tier system. So tier one are the practices that pretty much everybody should be doing all the time. It's relationships, that's the glue that, that holds us together. And when things break down, we do tier two. So it's a triangle. Tier two, there are fewer interventions. Ideally, there are fewer interventions. Those would be mediations, harm circles, conflict circles. And then tier three, at the top of the pyramid, ideally should be the fewest that we do, but that's when a student has had to be removed and we reintegrate them uh, through, through a welcome and re-entry process. And what I want to ask you is to share a time when you feel like your voice wasn't heard. Can you use your voice as a young person in Oakland? Go ahead. Um, for me personally, I feel like we can't do anything about it. For example, like voting, like we didn't want Trump, but like we couldn't do anything about it because we can't vote because we're not old enough. One time I felt like my voice wasn't being heard because I was like really little and these people had like robbed the store or whatever and I saw the whole thing, but the, the people that was like doing the robbery wasn't paying attention to me because I was like a little girl. So I tried to tell the people what happened and they didn't listen to me. There's room to just to sit in here, it's quiet, so it's like a peaceful space. Outside of school, is not like that for everybody. Uh, my name is Monica, and I'm feeling like a six. What restorative justice provides that traditional school discipline methods do not is the chance for people to take responsibility and understand the impact of their actions on others. It's internally driven. It has to be because I understand that there was something that I did that broke a bond here and that th this breakage is connected to other breakages that, that make all of us as a community weaker. The expectation of people to take responsibility for their actions is, is the way forward. I mean, that's the magic. That's the revolution that needs to happen. I appreciate him for being, um, being my friend again. I appreciate Spencer because he always in a good mood every day. When I did the grief circle, I needed to talk to somebody. Right. Because my mom passed away my ninth grade year when I was here. So, all that weight that was on me, I told them. But at the end, I finally cried. I let everything go. And that's what the best thing was. That was the best thing that, that happened in like two, three years. We're being a good friends. For it to be this space, which is school, is, that's powerful. That's powerful. Community just doesn't happen because you put people together and they're in one building. It happens because we talk, because we listen, 
because we worry about each other, we care about each other. When they are in conflict, they need help. They don't need us to just push them out. They need us to but bring them in. <laughs> I appreciate my for listening. There's a wider understanding from the school community that RJ can be used preventatively. It's just a cool question. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that you have a, a good personality and a very bright sense of As a tool for community building and a tool for learning. Okay, thank you everyone. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. So it's not just to deal with behavior issues. It precedes that as well. It precedes it, it's after it, and it's all around it. And that's the whole point, is that when we find that we have more in common with each other than not, we'll, we'll be able to get along, we'll be able to learn, uh, we'll be more peaceful and equitable with each other.